What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have three new WWE Elite Figure Customs. <laughs> Alright guys, in today's video, I do have three new customs for you guys, and I guess we can start off with the Hurricane. I guess two of these are sort of just like updated, because uh, I've shown uh, this Hurricane before, but I did change it up quite a bit. I want to make sure that I get you guys a good enough look here. But uh, the Hurricane, I did have to touch up the paint on the mask. The white was chipping a little bit around the nose and the mask area. I did go in there and touch that up just a little bit. This was the X-Pac Elite. If you've seen that figure, you know it, how it looks. It did have like a Degeneration X logo on the chest right here in the stomach area. I painted over that in black. And I don't know if you noticed on Vindication Episode 7, I believe it was, or 8. I think it was 8. Uh, you could have seen the paint coming through. So what I did was I came in, painted it up with some black and sealed that off so that you know it would not shine through anymore I don't think there's anything on the back there no I don't think there's anything there but I did have to paint on the stomach also what I did on the sides here for a long time I had uh, some lime green citadel paint and it did not uh, it didn't fully cover the Degeneration X, Jesus Christ, Cody Rhodes. But it, it had like, the lime green would not cover the Degeneration X logos on the side. So what I did was I took my black and I came in and made this H logo on both sides to cover up the Degeneration X uh, logos. And then I came in with white and filled it in and then sealed it up. So instead of having, you know, uh, a, D, a DX logo coming through on the stomach, DX logos coming through everywhere. I was like, you know what, bro, it's, it's time to freaking fix this. And I came in and put those H's over those logos. So now the H will stand for Hurricane. Sort of looks like the Hawaii Warriors logo, if you've ever seen that. But I'm pretty proud of the way it came out. It's pretty symmetrical. Looks like, uh, you know, they're both logos on the same side, and they're pretty even there. So I am happy with the Hurricane. We did fix up him. So he is complete. Now we have the entrance grade. Finn Balor and the interest grades Finn Balor you remember on the review if you guys missed that definitely go check it out really fun review really uh, got some good stuff in there that you guys need to check out but uh, we did do a full review on this figure if you want to go check that out and I talked about the shoes being inaccurate you know they gave him inaccurate shoes so I came in here and painted up some details added the white outsoles and added the red details in here and I think it looks a lot better it makes the figure stand out a lot more from you know a backward angle right here you guys can see that it just looks way better it really completes it it ties into the knee pads and the attire overall I may come in on the back here he has uh, Armani Exchange. He has like some Armani Exchange in his tights. And they make like this triangle pattern on the back that's like a different uh, stretchy material or a carbon fiber looking material. I may come in and paint in that like a light gray color to get that triangle on there. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. But I may add that. He does that on like a lot of his different attires. He'll have that triangle on there because uh, that's what Armani Exchange does for all his tights. But uh, we did fix up the Finn Balor. Looks great. Very happy with that. Um, if you guys know anything about me, you know the white outsoles are pretty much my favorite part of the attire. Just Finn Balor killing it over here with the shoes. I think those were Nike shoes. And then the last one we have is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes right here. And I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. I'm sure any big Cody Rhodes fans have been annoyed with the way my Cody Rhodes has looked on the pig fed, on the way he has looked this whole time. He used to be... Uh, it used to be the legs were plain black and I had white boots on here and I went to Walmart the other day I've been wanting to do this for multiple months now I bought another Carl Anderson Elite 56 Elite and I uh, painted the belt on there painted the white belt on there added the details to the belt and then I came in added the uh, little extra there to the two sweet logos that way you can continue the logo and then I added the Elite 56 Carl Anderson legs Pop those on the uh, the waist of the Cody Rhodes because they're actually on ball joints. So that was really easy to do. You know, nothing crazy. And then I just left the two sweets and the Bullet Club logos on there. Then I came in on the knee pad and I changed the KA to an actual CR. I wanted to do NM for Nightmare, but I think the CR is fine. I need to touch it up just a little bit. I'm not completely happy with it, but it is there. You do have the CR instead of the KA. And then for the boots... 
I came in with some Elite 25, or no, Elite 16. It was Elite 16 Heath Slater. I came in and put his boots on there. I think the silver kind of looks nice. You know, these are the kind of boots that Cody Rhodes wears. So I think the silver little buckle gems or whatever you want, the studs and then the uh, tips right here, I think really complete the figure. I think they make the figure look a lot better. So Cody Rhodes finally doesn't look like a Jack A with no logos on his tights. He'll actually look uh, halfway... Uh, decent on the pick fed and you know he'll actually look presentable and it's fully playable you know no paint chipping or anything I kind of like it looks pretty fresh I, I'm happy with the way it looks if uh, G Natty or stage creator or whoever um, I want you to know your guys uh, you know opinions down below what you guys think of the new Cody Rhodes and the way he looks you know it's just it's sort of like a fantasy throw together attire I was just sick of the plain black tights Really, really annoying. I may get some uh, white boots like this instead because I think the white boots would look better. But I still am happy with the black and silver. I, th I think it was just a good change of pace here. But that pretty much does it for all three custom figures here today, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I am working on some more customs coming very soon in the next few days to show you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But that pretty much does it here. You guys can kind of see the Finn Balor looks a lot better here. Uh, with the outsoles and the details added to the shoes there. I also am uh, working on a new fantasy attire, Finn Balor Demon, that will probably not be released for a while, but uh, it is in the works, so definitely be on the lookout for that. MDT Live Episode 8 is being filmed more, guys. Uh, what I did with the lost footage is I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to, you know, go back and do anything. I'm going to just move on from that and then try to come back and refilm it, have a clear mind on it and continue from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like, comment down below what you think of all the work we have here today. The Hurricane, Finn Balor shoes, and the Cody Rhodes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.